Hey everybody, this is Shay Walker from All Garage Floors, and today we have for you our review and initial impressions of the Swiss Trax garage floor tile that we installed six months ago. What's unique about this review, however, is that we purposely did not clean the floor for the entire six months since the day we installed it. We wanted to make a point and show you what the floor looks like. So you're going to want to stay tuned for that. In addition, we're going to tell you what we like about the flooring so far, what we don't care for, as well as show you a mishap that we've had with the tile. So do us a favor, before we get rolling here, why don't you hit that subscribe button so we can update you with any new videos as they become available on Swiss Tracks or other garage flooring options. And let's get started. So as I said, we've had this floor down for approximately six months now. We actually did a video on how to properly install Swiss Tracks garage floor tile when, when we put this floor in. And in case you missed it, I've left a link down below in the YouTube description there so you can go back and watch it during your spare time. Now in that video, we stated that we had a partnership with Swiss Tracks, and one of the benefits to that is that it allows us to provide our viewers here on YouTube as well as our website a discount code when you make a purchase of Swiss Tracks tile through one of our affiliate links. Now what we didn't tell you when we did that video was that Swiss Tracks provided this flooring to us at no charge. We didn't tell you then because all we were doing was showing you how to install it. But because we're doing a review, we want to be transparent with our audience, and legally it's required, to tell you that we received this tile free. Now before we agreed to this, we flat out told Swiss Tracks that we're not going to be a homer, so to speak, for their flooring products and just give nothing but glowing reviews. And somewhat to our surprise, they came out and said, perfect, that's exactly what we want you to do. We want you to tell everyone what you like about it, what you don't, compare it to other brands if you can. We're so confident in our product that we want you to tell everyone about it and what you think. And that got us excited because we've been approached before by companies that want us to give nothing but great reviews of their products and we turn them down. So now that we got that out of the way, um, let's tell you what we've been doing with our floor for the past six months. This is a three car garage. We have two cars that are pulling in and out of two of the stalls all the time. We have a third stall over here where we have a car in there uh, when we can, um, but that part of the garage right now is kind of used as a staging area for uh, some of the projects we have going on, as well as we're still in the midst of uh, shuffling things around the house. We moved in a year ago. We actually combined two homes, so we've been getting rid of things and such. So you'll see that when I show you the floor here in a moment. Now, along with that, we've done some of your typical vehicle maintenance, such as rotating tires. Uh, we've done oil changes, uh, detailing cars in the garage. We didn't wash it in the garage. We actually washed them outside. But if you are one of those people who like the idea of washing your car in the garage, or you do, this type of flooring is excellent for that. Um, what else have we done? We've had uh, various projects in here, mostly some wood projects and, and other things. Just all the typical stuff that you would expect in a busy home garage. Now I did say that we didn't clean the tile for six months, which is accurate. We did not sweep it, we did not mop it, we didn't do anything like that. However, we have vacuumed a couple messes up a couple of times. One of them was when we initially installed the tile, um, we were cutting and trimming our pieces and we had all the little plastic shavings and drop in a pile. So we, we obviously need to clean that up. And we have a video of us vacuuming that so you can see what it looks like. Because that's a question that comes up what if stuff falls through the tile? Uh, we have another video where we had some sawdust. We, we did some work on a workbench. 
and I had to cut some particle board, which is kind of a nasty sawdust compared to the other sawdust we've had around here. So that's the only thing we've done is vacuum up a few messes. So now that you know how we've used the garage, what I want to do now is show you what the floor looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the phone here and I'm going to disconnect it. And hopefully while I'm doing this, we're showing you pictures of what the tile looked like um, the day we installed it. So you get an idea. Here we go. Got to hold on to a few things here. All right. So here is the floor now. This is the, uh, the Rib Tracks Pro Smooth right here. Now, if you look really close right here, you can see we have small little mark right there. Um, there's a couple little spots. One thing we notice is that with the Rib Tracks Smooth, because it is a smooth surface and it doesn't have the rounded ribs like the, like the Rib Tracks Pro, that um, it will show the dirt a little easier. But as we go around here and show you the flooring, oh, here we go. Here's the mess I was telling you about. We got over here. I'll pan back a little bit. For six months, this floor looks phenomenally clean. Okay, <laughs> it's just unbelievable. Um, and for those who think that, well, maybe you have cleaned it or such, I want to show you something here. Let me get my hand out. I'm going to run it over a few places. There we go. <laughs> now I'm going to have to clean my hand before the next segment, but you get the idea. It's, it's filthy, um, but it doesn't look it. And I'm, I'm not OCD, but I am, I do like things clean. And believe me, this has been hard uh, not cleaning the tile for six months. Um, probably the next video we're gonna do is to show you how to clean a uh, Swiss Trax tile because as soon as I'm done with this, that's what we're gonna do. Um, so let me go ahead. Oh, one other thing I wanted to show you really quick is this. This is the Rib Tracks Smooth Pro. This is the Rib Tracks Pro. Both of these colors are pearl silver. And I just wanted our viewers to know that even though they're the same color, they do have a little bit different color tone. And the reason for that has to do with the way it reflects light. The Swiss Trax uh, Rib Pro here, uh, or Rib Trax Pro, uh, because the ribs are all rounded, it, it just reflects light differently. And the smooth ribs here, it's a flat surface, doesn't reflect it in the same way. And so um, they are the same colors, but under light, one just looks more of a matte finish and this looks more like a satin finish. So I just wanted to make you aware of that. And I thought this would be a great time to show you. So now that we got that over with, I'm gonna go ahead and put this foam back in and uh, tell you what we like and don't like about the floor. Okay, uh, so I got my hand washed. Uh, one thing I didn't mention is that we had race deck garage floor tile for eight years in our previous house. Excellent flooring. In fact, we did an eight year review of that, which you can find on our YouTube channel. Um, but one thing we did notice is with the race deck floor, 90% of it was their diamond tile or the solid top. And after we cleaned the floor, it looked clean for about a week to two weeks, something like that. And then you'd start noticing 
the dirt and debris that would start to collect where you pulled uh, cars in and out. And then after about a month or so, it, it definitely showed signs it, it needed maintenance, needed to be clean. So that's usually what I did. I cleaned that floor about once a month. Wasn't that big of a deal, but it was nothing like this. This floor looks almost brand new. So I wanted to make a comparison there of how this uh, vented style flooring, the rib tracks uh, pro and rib tracks smooth pro, just how clean it looks. Uh, so the other thing I wanted to show you before I tell you what we like and don't like was what it's like to vacuum the floor. So I'm going to show you a couple videos right now of things that we have we vacuumed up that falls down through the flooring. And along with the vacuuming, if for some reason you, you have something that uh, didn't come up all the way, maybe you had a major spill. People ask about this all the time, or you know, what if a small part fell through? Um, we've had things drop on the floor, some small things, and nothing's falling through yet. But if it does, I wanna show you how easily it is to pull the floor up. Now, when, you're, when you lay your tile, here's the, the front of our garage right there. The way it should be is you, your male edges should be facing the garage and then running on the left side, or maybe it's the right side, depending on your layout of the floor. Um, we talk about that in our installation video. But all you need is something like with a hook, like what I have right here, and all you need to do is reach down to the corner of where that is and you just lift up just like that and then you can just start pulling the tile up it pops up real easy that's one of the things that we just absolutely love about this floor and then just snap it in place like so and that's it now, as a comparison, when we had the race deck floor, we could pull that tile up as well. 
It was a little more difficult at first to, to do it because it's a solid top and with solid top tiles you generally want to stick a very thin bladed screwdriver or what works really good is like a putty knife down where the male joint is where you can disconnect it and you have to kind of grip it and start to pull it up. Now with the race deck tile, we didn't like having to do that. And it was a simple reason that it was very difficult to unsnap. Uh, they have their patented, what they call power lock technology. It's a very good technology for locking the, the tiles in place, but it was really hard to pull up and then it was hard to put back together. It's not, it's not a con to race deck. It was just more of a, a pain to do. That's just the way they designed their system. Nothing wrong with it. It's a great system. The Swiss track system is extremely strong, but it's also much easier to pull up. So I didn't envy when we had to pull something up with the race deck. With the Swiss tracks, it's no problem. So I just wanted to kind of give you a comparison if you're thinking about those two tiles. All right, so let's, let's tell you what we like about the floor so far. And the first thing we love about this floor is the appearance. It just looks absolutely fantastic. Right after we installed it, our next door neighbor checked it out. He bought Swiss tracks for his garage. I helped him install it and we had it done in a couple of hours. He already had his garage cleared out and everything. And he, one comment he made, he says, wow, this is like putting Legos together. You know, it's, it's not hard to do. We have another neighbor that is already making plans to install it. Our four-year-old grandson, every time he comes to the house, he says, hey, Grandpa, can I go look at your floor? He's mesmerized by it. He loves it, um, which I think is really cool. But other than that, it's just a fantastic looking floor. Of course, the second thing we love about it, which we demonstrated, is the ease of maintenance and how clean it looks all the time. Uh, nothing against other flooring types. Uh, we are someone who have had uh, epoxy coated or garage floor coatings uh, in various homes for over 25 years and we've done them for other people and nothing wrong with that flooring. Um, it looks great but um, it doesn't always look as clean and there's some trade-offs between those two which we'll probably do a video at some day but um, other than that we actually love how easy it is to keep clean the other thing that we really like about the swiss tracks tile is how much quieter it has made the garage it is because it's not a hard surface like concrete sound doesn't bounce all around like it tends to do with harder surfaces. So if you have just plain concrete or a garage floor coating, for example, um, it tends to be more echoey and such. Um, and I, I don't know, when I compare this to our race deck tile that we had, it was 90% of it was a solid surface. This seems a little bit quieter than that. And I don't know if it's because I'm, you know, I'm not a sound expert. Um, I don't know if it's because the sound goes down through the ribs and then travels around, bounces around underneath the tile instead of reflecting back up, I'm not sure. But it, it does, it makes your garage quieter. And that's when you're walking on it as well. This vintage style tile, it doesn't have that, that hollow sound um, that you get with the solid top tile. That's another advantage. Wherever we walk on this, um, it's quiet. And that brings up the other thing we like about it, and this goes for all interlocking garage flooring like this, and that is the anti-fatigue properties. I'm someone who spends a lot of time out in the garage at times, and I don't have a problem with my feet and knees when I'm standing on this. In fact, the hardwood flooring we have in our house is tougher on my feet than the garage floor. So that's something else to keep in mind that we really like about this. Um, what else do we like? That pretty much is it so far at, at this point. Um, so let's, let's talk about the cons. Um, there's, <laughs> I had to think about this one because in terms of cons, like what's really a problem with this floor? There, we don't really have any of those. But there are some things that we don't care for as much that's part of the trade-off of having this type of floor. 
And the first one is, is that with the vented style like this with the ribs, and I'm talking about the Rib Tracks Pro, not the Smooth Pro. With the Rib Tracks Pro, the ribs, if you're someone who gets down on your knees when you're working on vehicles or something, you're going to feel it in your knees. I noticed when I'm laying on my back on this underneath the vehicle, I feel it more than I did with the flat surface like with the race deck. Now the Rib Tracks uh, Pro Smooth doesn't have that. It's a flat floor. It doesn't bother my knees. I haven't laid on it. There's no reason to <laughs> for where I have it. Um, but that's something that I've noticed with this type of flooring. Um, the other thing is, is yes, if you had some sort of nasty spill, fortunately we haven't had like, you know, a mishap change in oil or something like that. Yes, you will have to pull up part of the floor if you want to get that clean. Um, so that's something to think about as well in terms of the cons. Another con, and I briefly talked about this, is that the Rib Tracks Pro looks cleaner longer than the Rib Tracks Smooth Pro. And that's simply because the Smooth Pro is a flat surface that can collect more dirt than the standard Rib Tracks Pro. So that's something else to keep in mind. And then the other one is, is the color tones. Doesn't bother us. I know there's some people out there who are very OCD about their flooring and different things. And so we wanted to point that out. That may or may not be a con to you if you're going to mix and match the two different styles of flooring like we did. We did it this way because we wanted to uh, be able to give an authentic review of both types of flooring. And I'll be honest with you, I wasn't enthused about the Rib Tracks Smooth Pro uh, when we ordered it because when you look at it online, it just it looks different and I don't think it photographs as well. And then after we put it in, I, I really like it. Again, it has more of a satin finish than, or excuse me, a matte finish than a gloss finish. Um, but my wife actually likes it better in the Rib Tracks uh, Pro. Um, but there is a difference, but I, I really like it. So I wouldn't have a hard time doing the entire garage in, in this if having that smooth type of surface was real important to me. So I guess you could say that is one of the cons. Now I did say we had a mishap with this flooring and I'm gonna show you some pictures right now or a picture. I was pulling in one of our cars and just as I started to pull in, I hit the brakes really hard because our garage doors are only eight feet wide instead of the more common nine feet wide. And I forgot to check to make sure I was clearing the mirrors on both sides. And when I hit the brakes, I, I heard something and felt something, wasn't sure what it was. Continued pulling on into the garage and I could, I could feel that I was rolling over something. And sure enough, I got out, looked at the tile, and as, as you've seen in the pictures here, um, the tile actually separated. Because what happened is when I hit the brakes so quick, because this flooring is a, a free floating floor and it's not solid like the driveway is, the front tires were able to lock up first. And when they did, it unlocked the, the tile and pushed it forward. But again, what I love about it is all I did was snap it back together and everything was fine. You couldn't even tell. And that brings up another pro about this type of flooring in general. And that is if you damage a tile for some reason, you just buy a new one and snap it into place. It's that simple. Garage floor coatings, you can't do that. It can be expensive and time consuming making a repair with the garage floor coating. A garage floor mat, you can't repair a section of the mat. If you don't like it, you have to replace the whole mat. So those are a couple of examples right there. So, Overall, we are extremely satisfied with this flooring. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it better than the diamond flat top surface like we had with the race deck, but I actually like it better. Um, so I'm excited about that. Also because of the fact I like the way it looks even better. Uh, would we recommend it? Yes, <laughs> we love it. 
So as we mentioned earlier in the video, our partnership with Swiss Tracks allows us to provide you with a discount code when you make a purchase. So we've included that code down below there in the YouTube description, along with a link that will take you to their site where you can make a purchase. If you have any questions about Swiss Tracks tile or this flooring in general, feel free to email us directly or even uh, ask it down in the comment section below. We'll be more than happy to answer the questions for you. So hopefully you have enjoyed this video and we've answered some of the questions you may have, particularly about Swiss Tracks and how much we like it. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below before you go. And thanks for watching.